Hi, Brandon. <laughs> Morning, Jeremy. What type of uh, job are we here working today? Uh, today we've got we've got a biohazard cleanup uh, with some human feces, and then also we're removing a um, um, an old refrigerator. Uh, it's got some expired food in it. They want it out of the house, so we're just going to remove that, dispose of that the right way, and then we'll get into the bio part of the job after that. Um, it's you'll see as we go along. It's a bucket, five gallon bucket full, and a toilet as well. Okay, are you going to be doing anything with the actual contents of the home today? The hoarding or the filth? No, we're not. They just wanted us to come in, remove the biohazard, and then also uh, remove the large appliance that they're not going to be able to take care of. Um, and then that's all we're doing. The rest of the house, uh, the family says that they're going to take care of it. Got it. Look at that beauty. back up. <laughs> Why do you keep your cans cleaned up, you know what I mean? Damn near impossible. Uh, I got a thought. Because we're going to need to rotate and drag. So, Rob, I'm going to come back to you. Yep. Go ahead, Rob. Bring it up back up, man. Ready? Yep. You out of the way yet? I'm trying to get away from the tree. Okay. Right now. Okay. Tip it this way. Yeah. A little bit. Ready? Hey, if this thing like starts to just fall or anything, I'm gonna let, let go. go. Absolutely. Let's stop. Let's stop. Two by four. Two by four. Those are plywood. Two plywood. Straight enough. We're straight towards the trailer. Fight uh, anyway. So we put them on the side. Okay. No, it's fine. What is it? Oh, we're going to slide? No, pick it up. I don't think it will. Okay. Right there, hang on that now. Let's move this side this corner. Okay, so Jeremy, this is obviously the bathroom, and uh, we've got a team that's going to be coming in here in full PPE gear to uh, to clean the bathroom. Mm -hmm. what, what's their plan of attack going to be? What's the issue inside the bathroom? Well, bathroom, this button, see that bucket right there? Five gallons, it's full of human feces. 
Um, so what we're going to do, it's almost, well, it's not quite, but we're going to solidify that. We use a product, put in that, solidify that, put it in a biohazard uh, container and take that out. The toilet is the same way. It's right over here. Um, I'm not going to pick it up yet. I'm not going to lift the lid because I don't have my gloves with me right now, but um, it's full, not overflowing, you know, like some others, but it's, it's definitely full. You're not going to handle or uh, worry about cleaning anything else here Nothing. in the bathroom? Just the bio, nope. Just the just, biohazards? Just the biohazards, yeah. Just the biohazards in here. The refrigerator, they, you know, that was the big one. That was that was, that was was a beast. Um, the rest of it will just be pretty standard. But nothing else is getting cleaned or touched. We're just getting in and getting out. Now, the refrigerator wouldn't be considered a biohazard. It was just too heavy for them to move. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Um, nothing on that would be considered a biohazard. Um, it's it was just massive and full of stuff and it's a lot easier just to get it out a lot faster the way we did it tape it up push it out um, a lot of times we're not coming from the back side of a house taking it down to uh, taking it downhill into a driveway but um, we got it accomplished and uh, she'll be happy the client will be happy with that Good. so Steve is this one of the worst conditions you've seen in a house uh, it's probably among the top top three it uh, I'm just sorry we can't do all the house for them, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. They just want the hazards out of the toilet and the uh, bucket of feet will matter. And a lot of people have a hard time disposing of their refrigerators because of the uh, Freon and such in them. So now that's what will you do with that refrigerator? We will uh, actually take that to the to the county landfill and pay what kind of an exorbitant price to, to dispose of it uh, it's about $145 per unit to dispose of a refrigerator or an air conditioner or anything with the free on it uh, we could take it to a recycler but it's 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 really not worth us our our time uh, for the money you would get out of it to take it to a recycler so we just take it to county landfill and let them deal with it. Okay. So we want to put the rely on on that, on the top layer here. Okay. I'm going to soak it down. The smell is going to come back up because you're rehydrated. All right. So be prepared for that. Okay. Okay. And spray the toilet. And uh, can you lift the lid on it? Yeah. What we're going to do with the toilet is we're going to hit it with the rely on, let it give its 15 minutes soak time, and then we're going to put an absorbent in there to dry up what's left there. Okay. Okay. And uh, disassemble the tank from the stool and get rid of the tank in the, at the landfill and the stool go into a biohazardous container. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's going to be the easiest. It, it, it'll be no use to stand here and try to clean that toilet. Okay. So. Uh, that's going to be the quickest and most efficient way to do things to get it out of here. So we've got that soaking. Got that soaking, so we'll wait up 15 minutes. Okay. What, are, what, are, what am I filming here, Steve? Uh, it is a bucket of feces. Now you've been doing this for a while. Can you tell by looking at that feces how long it's been there? Uh, no, I, 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 could, I could tell you it was still damp on top, so I'm going to say it hasn't been there, there all that long because uh, it still has moisture to it. Um, you know, it's the old saying, there's uh, three gallons of shit in a five-gallon bucket. So at least it's not overflowing, but I can see, looking now, I can see there's one, two, three coffee cans with feces in it. You can see that's been for a while because it's drying and dried out. So we'll go ahead and take care of that stuff too from over here. Now it doesn't look like there's been water in the house for a while, so that's probably the reason why he's been using the buckets out of mind. Probably why. Um, I've worked jobs where we've had uh, about 450 gallons of urine saved in different bottles. Uh, but uh, as far as feces, uh, normally it's, they'll pack the toilet, but I've never had it in buckets like this. So. Now, what kind of absorbent are you using there, Steve? This is probably 
product that uh, we received. It is basically made of, I believe, coconut uh, husk. And uh, it's actually, it's been a really good absorbent for us. It doesn't take a lot to do the job, and it, it, uh, it helps when you have a, a lot of liquid you have to dispose of because our biohazards uh, haulers, they don't take the liquid. So we have to find a way to uh, make it a solid. So we found out if we, uh, you're gonna use kitty litter or you can use a uh, uh, product like this. And this has actually worked out a lot better for us than kitty litter. You don't have the dusting and everything as you do with the kitty litter. And cost wise, it's probably about the same. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's maybe a little more expensive uh, being what it is, but it, it's well worth it. Now what are you what are you doing in here, Rob? I just poured this into the toilet so it solidifies it, okay. and then we'll yeah. unplug the tank from it. Any idea how long you're gonna have to wait for that to solidify? It just kind of depends. Pretty fast. Five minutes. Okay. Maybe less. Yeah. And that'll just suck up all the liquid yeah. and make it a solid. Uh, yeah. That's exactly what it'll do. Back of the tank. I'll right hold it to the base. No. Down there? No, nope, it's in the tank. Oh, we're in the tank. Here you go. Is it turning? No. Okay, here. Can you feel the bolt underneath it? Yeah. Dude, it's rusted really bad. Okay, to turn it off. Steve, what'd you have to do to get the toilet out of here? Uh, well, we're still working on getting it out, but we had to remove the tank from the base, and the bolts were so rusted, uh, they won't turn, the, the wing nuts on the bottoms are broken, so we're disposing of the toilet anyway, so I had to go ahead and chip the porcelain from around the bolts to remove the tank. So, that's where we're at right now. Now we're getting ready to take the toilet off the closet flange for the base. There you go, Rob. That's all sharp porcelain, so watch yourself. Okay. okay. I told my dad I didn't want to be a plumber because I didn't want to mess with poop all the time. And here you are. So look at me now. Look, Dad, I made it. So what's what's the next step in this process? Uh, right now, the toilet's still full of right? Right, it's still full of uh, fecal matter. And so we're going to remove the floor, the toilet from the floor, or the closet flange, as it's called. Then mm -hmm. we'll lift that up. We'll slide a black bag, slide it into a black bag. Then we'll put it into a biohazardous bag and a biohazardous box. Now there's been some um, comments on our YouTube videos about us putting items into black bags, biohazardous items into black bags. What's, what's the purpose of that? Well, the black bag is just a secondary bag. Anytime we put it into a biohazardous container, it goes into a red bag. It, we may have uh, the item in a black bag, but we're putting that black bag inside a biohazardous red bag Then into the container. It's just a matter of an extra layer of protection case that would try to leak or Keep the odor down and everything in it. Good point
So Steve, what, uh, what are you guys doing now? Uh, we're decontaminating our tools. After every job, we like to wipe them all down, uh, make sure they're ready to go for the next, next job. Uh, we spray them with our Rely On to kill anything that might have affected them. And we're just wiping them down, getting ready for the next time to go around. So you take a lot of precautions so you don't cross-contaminate the next scene or, or even the scene you're work, currently working on? We do, we do. And, you know, if, if you send somebody out to the truck to grab a tool or something, I want to know that I'm not putting them in a position to be contaminated or get, get affected by anything that we've worked on in the past. So we always like to spray it all down. It's been sprayed down, and now it's just a matter of, you know, wiping it off and... Make sure it's dry so they don't rust and they're ready for the next job. Um, Steve, give me a rundown on what happened. Uh, well, everything went pretty well uh, as we planned, except when we got to the toilet. The mm -hmm. toilet uh, was a little stubborn. The bolts that hold the tank onto the, the base uh, were rusted, so we literally had to chip the portion away from the bolts connecting uh, to get the tank off. And then when we got to the stool, the base part itself, the bolts were rusted to the closet flange. So we had to figure a way of uh, trying to get those loose because they wouldn't come off the wrench. So eventually took a little hacksaw blade and cut through and then just took a pair of vice grips, bent them over and they popped out. And, uh, that, that gave us the ability to lift up the toilet and slide it into a black bag, which uh, it's just, that's more of a containment bag than anything. Uh, then we were able to put into a red biohazards bag and tie those all together, seal them up, and then put that into a biohazards container. Right on. So just basically difficulty was just messing with the hardware on the toilet. Messing with the hardware. Because of being, being rusted from old age, probably your old age, PCs, yeah. all that too. A little bit of everything on So, it. yeah, well, we got it accomplished. We it's got done. It accomplished. Uh, the only thing that you got to worry about is the heat today, a little hot inside, mm -hmm. inside the Tyvek suits. You can't go very long in yep. those suits. Uh, and there's only one way to cool off the in there. Mm -hmm. That's get sprayed with water. <laughs>